It's kind of incredible, Steve, the impact that this would have. One fish company that I spoke with said that because there will be less bait being caught, that'll mean less lobsters, and that could mean a higher price for those of us who are looking to buy lobster rolls this summer. This would certainly also impact those companies who rely on this as part of their livelihood. I stopped by one work on the working waterfront here in Portland called New England Fish Company. They have some major concerns about these government cuts to the amount of herring that they can catch. This year, the amount has been more than halved, and that means that companies are now looking to increase their alternative bait sources, things like redfish or menhaden. Susanna Riber, one of the owners of New England Fish Company, says and now explains to us why they've been using herring as bait for generations. It's easier for the uh, lobsters to eat, especially when they are in, in the springtime when they have, you know, they're getting their new shells and everything. <laughs> they're weaker and they need that protein. And if we're not feeding the lobsters, they're not going to keep growing. And Susanna says that she is concerned that without having that herring, we won't see those record catches that have been coming in in terms of the size of lobsters. Also passed in those regulations that cut back on the amount of herring was establishing a buffer zone 12 miles out from the coast of Maine all the way down to New York, where folks cannot uh, fish for that herring bait.